Hello everyone, this is Kunal Tagra from the Google Developer Group and today I will tell you various tips and tricks of Windows 7. There are many windows that have been launched till now like Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows Vista, Exam, etc. In this video I will be telling you the various hidden tricks and tips of Windows 7 that probably you would not have known. The first one is the God node mode. Sorry. The God mode is the hidden mode in the Windows 7 that can that is like a door to various features of Windows 7 all at one place. So to configure first of all we will right click and create a new folder and then we will name it under this name God mode and this code. Then we rename. As we rename it, it turns into this icon. When we double click on this God mode, you can see all the features right in this mode. Action center, admin tools, backup restore, bit locker, color management, credential manager, date and time, default programs and many other features like display, ease of access center, etc. Now the second tip or trick you can say Windows 7 is a problem steps recorder. This is basically used by people who have problem in their computer and they are not able to configure it. So they use this mode or this software which is given by Google itself sorry Windows itself sorry which can help in tracing all your cursor steps mainly mouse steps and you can configure this by going to run and then typing PSR when we see that here a window has opened problem steps recorder when we click on start record you can see that every click that I am going doing is being recorded by this I am refreshing this and clicking on the start button etc all is being recorded by this when we click on stop record it creates a dot zip file which we can save or we can send to anyone that we want help from. I'm cancelling this. Okay. Now the third tip is reduce the number of programs running at the startup. At many steps, in many instances, you can see that your when you boot your system, it kind of takes a lot of time in loading your desktop, etc. So the problem is that many times unknowingly various softwares open in our startup when we start our computer so to manage them we use ms config again we will go to run and type here ms config when you type ms config this system configuration opens up it has various options like journal boot services startup tools etc we will go at startup now we see there here is a lot of program lists right here now those programs which you don't want them to start up to open at the time of startup you simply untick them and click on apply when you do that your it sets that that software will not run or run as you want according to your according to so we click on cancel right now now the next is bringing up the system information window we all know that if we want to see our system information we can go to computer right click it and then properties this kinds of takes a lot of time so there is a shortcut for this in our computer simply click on windows button plus pause break button as we click on this combination, this system information pops up into our sys on our monitor right away without any steps. Now the next is renaming the files sequentially in Windows. I found this particular thing very much interesting because many a times we face our problems like in this that we have a lot of names, different names of different files and we want to kind of 
name them in the form of 1, 2, 3, 4 in the sequence. So what we do, select all and right click and do rename. Now we name with any name we want. For example, we write here image. As we write image, we can see that all of them have been sequentially ordered in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You can also name with any other name like uh, rename and doc. So it will doc 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And the last trick that I will tell you is minimize all windows. Now we can see here that a lot of windows have been opened right now. So to if you want to minimize them all, there are two options. First of all, there is a button. There is a button in the bottom right of the screen. If we click that, it, it toggles in, like, <coughs> sorry, it toggles the screen for minimizing and maximizing. Otherwise, if you want to use in keyboard, just click on Windows button and D. This will also toggle them for minimizing or maximizing the screen. So these were all the tips and tricks. Thank you for watching this video.